saying it's saying it's connected and I think I'm back I did delete the other one so let me get rid of that let me try this again Facebook am I right all right let's see I don't know if I'm live let's see I'm probably being throttled with my luck algorithms as everybody knows is a huge mess on Facebook all right I'm live and I'm content is available right now lovely All right. Well, maybe somebody will see this. Maybe somebody will pop in. I have no idea. Here is the piece that we're working on with all the colors that you guys chose. You chose ever, uh, green and a blue, so I'm using evergreen and I'm using abyss. And I'll eventually work in some purple, which is going to be their purple haze. I have been having connection issues, so most likely you'll end up seeing this on replay. Hopefully. Hope, I hope. I don't know why I can't get it to pull up now, but this is this is life. This is how it works. It says I'm live on the story, but it's not. And I'm gonna stop messing with this for a minute so we can get, get to crafting here. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if this is actually coming through or not coming through, but in any case, um, I'll, I'll look again. I'm gonna do some blending. I'm going to paint the lower part with the evergreen, and then we're going to blend into the top part. And this is a cute little piece that's going to be for sale in the store. I'm just going to close down my laptop, not even bother with it, because nothing's coming up on that at all. Hopefully this thing works. If not, I apologize. And I'll see y'all, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll see y'all on replay. All right. So we have Abyss, which is the chalky style paint. It's a nice blue. We have Evergreen, which is a beautiful green. I love that green. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, pretty green. It will dry a little bit darker. I have my paper towels, my brushes. I use the Cristana brushes. This one happens to be color equals happiness, so it's smaller. And I'm going to pull my green over. Put that one down there for a minute. Because I'm just starting colors, I'll dip right into the brush, but later on, I'll start using these, the little puddles I made over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this on nice and smooth. Now the Paint Couture chalky style, Chalk Style Paint is a little, um, what do I want to call it? It's a little thinner than your traditional paints and that I have found so far with the different colors I've used. But it blends beautifully. Now when I blend, I do it a little bit different than a lot of other people. I actually blend every single layer. Sometimes people will color block. I do not do that. I could, I probably should, but I like to wing everything I do. So there's that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a first coat down of some green. And I'm going to go up a little bit on this piece, mainly over on this side, I think, because I'm going to pull it down into I don't know why I did green up there, but that's all right. It'll blend. It'll blend eventually. Y'all know I'm going to be using glazes, and you're going to have some more color choices for, <coughs> pardon me, not next week, but um, the week after that, next week's Thanksgiving, so no color choices next week. So now I'm just going to take some of this blue, and I'm going to color that in wherever there's some of that gray from the two-in-one primer. And then I am going to immediately put that brush away. I'm going to take my small brush. I'm not spritzing. 
Although I might have to because it's a little warm in here. I'm going to put a little bit more green on because this stuff does dry pretty fast. But I don't like to spritz. I don't know why I just don't. Maybe I should. I'll spritz just a little bit. And I'm using this. to kind of move the paint around. And it's not gonna be a really pretty blend. It's just not because it's the first coat. I go back through with this. And the reason I personally like to do it on both coats is because then I don't get, my nail just got away. Then I don't get a very specific defined line and those defined lines drive me nuts. So there's that. All right, so there's the bottom part. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of work. We have some damage over here. I don't know how well you can see that, but there is some damage over here that I don't, I'm gonna leave this, it's gonna end up getting some color on it, but I'm gonna leave this white because next you guys have to decide if I'm doing stencils, um, mix of stencils and transfers or what I'm doing. So we're going to do green down on the bottom here. And now I am using these. I'm going to pull a little bit of green up onto here. And now I'm going to pull some blue. One thing I love about my first coat is I don't have to be careful. It's not a necessity to be obviously careful with this thing. And I'm going to do a little bit of blending, which is going to be hard. And when you blend, it does end up smoothing some of this out just a little bit. So that's always nice. So we got a little bit of a blend in the front and the paint's nice and smoothed out. So that's good. Okay. So that's that. Like I said, I'm leaving this center blank. I have no idea if anybody's on. I'd like to take a moment and say, thank you, Facebook. All right. So now I'm going to do the top and I'm first going to pull some of the blue through. To kind of match this blue so it's going to be in the center a little bit and I want to bring it around to the front I think this is my idea of color blocking big mess and I'm going to bring it down over to here and it's going to go in just a little bit and I'm going to bring it down there just a little bit too Green is going to be every place else. Your first coat is never all that pretty. I'm going to go back up with the blue just a little bit in here, just so that way I have something to blend with. And the same with the green, just kind of around where I just painted, just to make sure it stays wet. I don't, I'm not fond of using the water method if I don't have to, especially with this paint, because it does, it is a little thinner than your traditional chalk paint. And you just go back in with your bigger brush. And you're basically just moving it around. In all the different directions.
and kind of smoothing it out. Which I need to get a little bit here. And a little bit there. I need to get that a little wet again. Use my smaller brush. Okay, that's that side, which looks really um, not good, right? That's your first coat. Welcome to your first coat. First coat will always make you question everything about your life. I hate doing first coats, it drives me up a wall. Now I'm going to do the inside, so we're going to roll this just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing on the inside. There we go, sort of, kind of, maybe. And I have to put a little bit more green on here. Kind of makes me sad that my first live messed up and now I don't know if anybody's even getting notifications for this live. I'm afraid to turn my laptop on that it's going to continue messing up my my um, connectivity, and that's not good either. So we're just going to work with what we have. All right, there we go. So we're going to do shelves. And I do go over what I've done before. And I'm not doing those backs yet because... I don't know if you guys want decoupage paper um, or if you're going to have me do transfer back there or a mix of things. And as you can see, I am not gentle with this. Now, if I were using, honestly, if I were using straight, um, if I wasn't doing any blending, and if I was doing just like painting, I would probably use my paint, still use my paint couture brush to get some of these, but I will be blending. Now the sides, I want to keep them nice and green. That's why they're getting painted into the nice green line. The top is going to stay green as well. Now the sides will probably end up with a little bit of a blend just because they're in my way. And you can't take them off, so. That's how we will keep it. All right, so now we're gonna get some laid down here on the bottom. And I want blue kind of towards this side over here. So I'm just going to, what they call, I guess, color block out a little bit there. And then I'm going to grab some of my blue. And kind of pull it in here. Nice and even. And well, as even as I'm going to get doing this. Just a tad of smidge more green on there. And then I'm honestly probably not going to do the whole thing because, oh, Kim, somebody did pop in. Yes. Thank you, Kim. This is the one everybody um, got to pick the colors for. So the greens, the blues, and a purple one out. So I'm kind of color blocking the first coat down now. I wasn't sure if this was even hitting anybody. I tried my live before and it did not. I kept getting interruptions. I don't know if this one is or not. So I'm just kind of blending my first coat so I know where my colors are gonna be in a roundabout way. This is going to be such a pretty jewel tone. I'm really kind of excited about this piece. I'm 
getting a little bit of a green hint on the front. I don't know if you can see in there. Hey, Eric, more green. All the way up green. All right, so we're gonna throw some more green end up here. There's your green, Eric. But this part, I do so much better when I have people to interact with. This is for sure. And again, that back is staying, for anybody just jumping on, that back is staying clear for now because I don't know what you guys are gonna have me do next. And if it's gonna be decoupage paper, I need it to I need to paint it white. So there's that. That's why that's not getting painted yet today. That will be done after Thanksgiving. I need some more green down on the bottom. I'm gonna do some green over here. into that corner a little bit. And I'm gonna pull a little bit of green here. Across the back. I'm gonna fix that so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep my blue at the angle. Grab my big old happy creating brush. And I'm going to keep this one at an angle too so I don't clonk the top. And just kind of feather it around in here to give that first blend coat for a hot mess look, because we all know I like the hot mess look. Do the same. I go all different directions. Okay, I'm gonna move this up so you can see the top. did not do a darn thing. I'm missing. Hmm. There we go. Sorry. Nothing wants to move today. Why is nothing wanting to move today? There we go. Now I think it's done. All right. So now you can start to kind of see, let me get this angle down, how the blues are going to work into this. So I'm going to do the top shelf. Slightly blindly, but I'm going to do the top shelf. And I will go back through for comments in case for whoever I'm not seeing because my Facebook is not letting me see all the things. And I don't even know if anybody's still on there. Kind of pull that down a little bit. down into here. This is a smaller shelf. So 
I'm going to slap that blue in. Get my big brush out. Feather it through a little bit. Keep wiping it off. Grab my bigger brush. And this, I think I'm going to do green on the outside and then blue on the inside. So, I love these little brushes for um, spindles, just so you know. They make Spindles a dream. Because they're nice and round and fun. Alright, throw some blue in here. some green over on this side. Smooth so that mess out a little bit. We'll go back in there with the big brush. Or the little, well, yeah, big brush, a little, whatever. This brush. And then even though it's a tiny little spot, I'm going to hit it with this still. Do the opposite side and maybe I'll push you back just a little bit. Ooh. This is me driving, just so you know. Alright. Kind of at a crooked angle, but that's the way life is right now. Everything's a little crooked. I'm going to dip a little bit more of my green out because I'm running low on that. And a little bit more of my blues. Alright, I need to be able to see the front just a tad bit. Because I've got some blue coming through here a little bit. But that's all green. So that's what I needed to see. So we are going to push these out of the way so I don't accidentally dip in them. about blending is I don't need to have to have it it doesn't have to be like asymmetrical like the same exact thing on both sides and I like that about blending when you're doing this sort of work because it takes a lot of the pressure off of you to have it perfect so I'm going to pull a little bit of blue down here And I'm going to pull a little bit of blue up here, too. And you do want to kind of, like, smooth this out a little bit as you go. I mean, it can't be a total slob, but when you go and blend, that certainly helps with um, smoothing your paint layers out. And I do sometimes push a little hard on my on these, so I let my coats dry overnight. So that's one of the reasons, too, that we're not going to see this piece finished soon. I will have everything all blended out for, right, for after Thanksgiving, the Thursday after Thanksgiving. 
and everything done. And then you guys will have to figure out if I'm doing the stencil, what I'm doing with it. All right, so now we only have this part. I'm gonna put my blue on first, because I do want some blue over here. Down through the front. And then I'm going to Um, how does one person lose a brush? That oh, there, it's right in my face. I lost my green brush. That's always fun. Now, because I'm doing a bigger area, I'm going to hit this, my blue again on this, just because I need it to, to be a little bit wetter than what it is, so I can blend a little bit nicer. You don't need thick layers to do your blending, but you do need some paint there that's wet. And you'll notice I am going all the way up. And you'll notice because I'm not using water, this layer will have a little bit of pull to it. As you go along, pull meaning it's coming off of just a little bit because it's drying. The chalk style paint does dry a little bit quicker than your traditional paint. And I'm just kind of hitting those insides because I don't know what's over there. All right, that was literally a super fast first coat blend with the colors you guys chose. The purple is gonna come in a little later. I will stand up here just a little bit. Oh boy, I can get up, really I can. Um, the purple, well, I wonder if I can do it. Well, you can't really see it if I work on that, so I'll do that off screen. Um, the purple will come in a little bit later and that's gonna be coming in through your choice of like, how I'm gonna do stencils and stuff. And some crust or embossing to fix a little bit of the, the mess down there. Yeah, so this piece is all about you guys. Um, I'll have a new picture up. Hmm. Probably next Friday, um, because we're going into the Thanksgiving week and I'll have this done and ready to get put up next Sunday, next Friday, something like that. And the next live for me, unfortunately, will not be until the Thursday after Thanksgiving. Thursday, Thanksgiving. What are you going to do next week? So I will see you guys in two weeks. And you guys will be able to choose some more stuff for this. And I'll get this blend all finished up. So when you choose, you'll see exactly how it's going to, you know, what it's going to look like all blended up. So thank you for catching. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Bye.